Today's episode of the Midwest Model Shop is brought to you by Woody's Model Works. It is your solution to photo etch products for the 1200 scale RMS Titanic by Trumpeter. Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the Midwest Model Shop. So today's episode I think is going to be a little bit shorter uh, than my usual long ones, but there's some important stuff that happens. So originally, uh, what I started out doing is installing the officer's quarters um, gymnasium type area on the boat deck. And I was going to put that on and then work on all the detail that went along with it. And then I quickly realized this would cause problems putting all that detail in for putting on the funnels down the road. So instead I decided to shift gears in this film and get all the main structures put together and assembled and thrown on the boat deck so that we can, in the next episode, put the funnels on. That's the whole emphasis. So uh, I, 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 I glaze o or gloss over putting on the windows and the railing and all the little minutia stuff because I've covered all that extensively in previous videos. Instead, we cut straight to, hey, let's just glue these deck structures into place, which I thought was going to be easy, and I actually ran into several little fit issues. So I cover all of those extensively for you. So that's what this episode's about. Uh, also, I want to say hello again to my buddy Mason in the UK. I hope you're doing well, bud, and behaving for your parents and enjoying this summer, getting outside and enjoying it a little bit. Uh, then, also, I want to give a shout-out to Shane. Uh, I went to the post office box the other day, and I got this cool little package in the mail, and I opened it up. Shane uh, has sent me four officers for the Titanic that he has expertly painted. Absolutely turned out fantastic. Looks phenomenal. And uh, Shane also happens to have a YouTube channel uh, called The Model Bench. And Shane, I'm pretty sure I'm a subscriber to your channel. I know I've watched a bunch of your videos. Here's a link to it right here if you'd like to go to it. Please feel free to go check his stuff out. Uh, give him a like and a subscribe. He does a great job right now of... Um, short little reviews of things so you get a, a nice condensed version of, of what stuff is and what it looks like and uh, it's not as long-winded as i am and he also has a great irish accent because he's from ireland all right so anyway uh check him out don't forget to like and subscribe this video it also helps out uh, my channel as well and without further ado let's get into it well hello fellow modelers so here we are back in action looking some more at the officer's quarters so um I've, I've put the glass windows in, the window frames, and all the usual stuff uh, that you saw me do in the previous videos. I uh, added this little PE area to the wheelhouse. Um, so we're moving on to the decking area up on the top. So up in the front here, this area above the bridge was painted gray. And the uh, my client is using the um, scale decks deck, and it includes this nice pre-made gray piece. But... And, and as you can see, it fits nicely. This was after I had trimmed it, though. It actually was sized to go all the way to these outer edges. And I noticed that there's a nice border molded on. And I think that looks good, and I think that's more correct. So uh, you can just go ahead and spray paint this gray, uh, but I went ahead and, and fit it in position. Okay, so anyway, uh, as we move along, uh, we have a couple of little fit issues, and, and I'm not complaining about scale deck stack i'm just it's just part of the process when you have these things you're gonna have stuff that doesn't fit quite right uh so like if we take this piece for example we drop it on it's a little tight in some areas but the biggest gotcha is is right back here there's this hole and as you can see right there it doesn't quite line up exactly how i want uh that hole needs to become aft a little bit so there's a couple of solutions to this. And I'm looking here, I see this hole. I mean, actually it's pretty close, but it would be nice if it came aft a little bit too. So before I go just changing where this hole is at, uh, maybe what I'll do is take a little bit off of this back edge, right? And that will allow the whole thing to shift back just ever so slightly. And I'll probably get a better fit if I do that. Um, so in order to do this, some of you have monkeyed around with this, know that this is, uh, it can be a little bit tricky. You want to make sure you pre-seal the deck. And so I used um, a flat clear acrylic that I spray painted on. And if you don't know how to do this, you should be, you should watch Nora's videos on how to glue down your decking and get it prepared. It's in this series for the Titanic. Just go back and look at it. 
But what it does is it makes this a little bit more rigid because this is really fragile stuff. And so in addition to protecting it, and if you spill something on it, you've got an opportunity to clean it off without messing up the ink, uh, it gives it a little bit more robustness. It makes it a little bit more thick, and that makes it easier to sand or clean up with a sharp blade and slide into position. So I just wanted to point that out, um, that we've got a couple of little fit spots that we want just to double check and make sure everything lines up exactly the way that we want it to. Uh, and when you trim all those edges up and everything, you wanna make sure that it um, looks nice, you know, that you're all set. So I wanna get this all done and put into position, uh, just like you see here and glued on first, and then we're gonna come back and put all these details in. I need to put the railing in along here, and I'm waiting until I'm done handling this. I'm actually nervous about the railing. This piece ends up flexing a lot on the ship. Uh, let's see if we can pan here. Way down there's the ship, and as you can see, there's a curve to the deck. It's quite substantial. And this piece is just long enough that it flexes a lot. And I don't want any of this stuff popping off, although given how isolated it is, actually I probably can prepare all of it and put it on. But but once I put the railings on, this thing pushes down. I mean, it's going to move. I'm a little nervous about that, how that's going to go. So let me go ahead and get this deck squared away, and we'll glue that on and... Uh, yeah, decide what we're gonna do next, press it on. Okay, so while we're back at figuring this out, um, I got this piece glued in and then I started working on this piece, which I was complaining about wouldn't fit right here over this little piece. And it does now, perfectly. Uh, and this square fits perfectly and, sorry, focus. And this fits perfectly uh, because I just took off, basically, I don't even know if it was a millimeter worth of material on the back and that allowed the whole thing to slide back and it worked out great. The issue now is uh, along this edge, it overlaps the plastic just the tiniest bit. No big deal. We'll just take a tiny sliver of material off there and it'll fit as well. But as we move forward, uh, I have the same problem, only a little bit worse. Again, not a problem, extra material, no big deal. Until we get to up here on the front, you can see there we've got plenty of extra. Uh, way more extra than I want and I'm having issues with it getting tight right here and tight right there um, it fits here okay but we're actually just a hair shy in the back so it would be nice if this whole area right along here could move forward now the same amount that this had to move back so the solution is going to be to cut the piece of wood and we're gonna cut it right here. This is the kit expansion joint, the Titanic's expansion joint. There's been a lot of controversy about this because uh, on this side right here, that window is alarmingly close to being lined up with it. Uh, on this side though, nothing lines up with it. It works out perfectly. That's just a little bit of a bummer, but whatever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my blade down here and I'm gonna cut this in half. That'll free up this whole forward section to dial in and get to fit just right. And I know I'm fussing over some really minute things that really no one's going to see. Uh, but, but look here. Look how perfectly that fit. I mean, this looks nice. You've got this nice little edge. Uh, the detail looks good. You know, I, it's, I think it's worth just taking a few extra minutes to figure this all out. So anyway, that's a problem I've run into with my piece that doesn't mean you will, because all these, all these print just just a little bit differently. You know, the humidity was different that day. The paper moved just a mill that day uh, on your piece that went through the printer and the laser cutter. You know, they're not 100% the same. They're 99.99% the same, and that little bit of difference is is why I'm having to do this. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd share that, and that's the solution. I'm going to cut it right out of this expansion joint. This piece will move forward, and then a piece of photo etch brass, which I should have mentioned earlier, goes over the top of the expansion joint, so there can be a gap there, and it doesn't matter. All right, pressing on. Okay, so here we are back after last time, and basically, so first of all, we've got our wooden decks on, which is what I was working on before, and that turned out very nice. Uh, 
we got a nice nice edge everywhere and you know it, it fits really well and I'm really pleased everything's all painted up and ready to go uh, so I went ahead and installed the railing uh, along the edge the hand railing that you're all familiar with I showed how to do this in a previous episode so nothing earth shattering there um, the detail looks nice and then we have our little piece there in front of the navigation bridge you know and then the stuff that uh, goes on the other side so anyway um, yeah that takes care of that so I made a decision um, because of the bend that I mentioned before I'm gonna glue this down now onto the deck I would love to put all of this detail on and and get everything taken care of and it's just right in front of me it's all nice and easy to work with but the bottom line is it it's it bends the opposite direction a lot. I'm worried about the uh, railing popping off. And I want to be able to take these nice heavy weights and place them on top of the deck to hold it in a position. And if I have all of the fun detail on here, I won't be able to do that. So I'd rather do that now. Um, and so I think that is going to be the next step, which I realize is a little boring. Uh, but the other thing that that allows me to do once this is in place, I could do the other deck pieces behind it very quickly. I can get the funnels on. Because the funnels are huge. And they have all this little detail that basically gets built in around them. I'm like, we could put the, the gymnasium roof right here on. Or I'm sorry, gymnasium's over here. This is like the uh, first class staircase. You could put the top on the dome and all that stuff. But having the funnel in place... Uh, is a big deal because a lot of things go in around it and I don't want to put up a bunch of railing and then have to carry carefully set the funnel in place and work everything else out I, I'd rather have this big item here and then build off of it and out as we move away from the edge and then unfortunately that means this needs to be put onto the ship ahead of time along with all of the other pieces which way over here I see I've already got them primed up and sitting there ready to go so we could do this uh, pretty fast. So uh, without further ado, plenty of talking, uh, let's go ahead and get this glued onto the client ship. Press it on. Okay, so if I drop this piece on, again, another dry fitting, uh, like so, hopefully you can make out there that it needs to bend down a lot. To make contact there and fortunately nothing broke off yet which I find to be absolutely incredible at this juncture um, and I do have these little side pieces that go up here on our bridge we up in the corner we'll we'll fiddle with those afterwards so now that I know that this is gonna work I need to get my glue out and again we're gonna do the orange glue it's very sticky, um, it's stringy, be careful with it, I'm going to glop it on. And we will also follow up with some uh, thin Tamiya. And, and I might even just, I don't know, I'm tempted to put a couple dots of CA glue in the middle just to help hold it down quickly but the weight will take care of it also okay here's our last little run that should do it okay <clears throat> Weight down here and a weight down here. And now I'm going to go around and just double check that we are seated all the way. And it looks really good, at least over here on our uh, port side. Now I got to come over to where you guys are at. You can all see everything over there. And you know already if I screwed up or not. Hopefully not. Okay. 
come over here and see. Got some little blurbs of excess glue popping on. I think I'm gonna wait on that. If you clear too much of this out, just know you gotta come back and touch up the paint. Which is not a big deal. I'm not too worried about this. I mean, obviously it's got to look really good. This is this is the this is the area you're going to see everything. You've really practiced up until this point on the uh, A deck and B deck putting these pieces in. This is the this is the part everyone's going to see. This is on top. Uh, but if something goes sideways here, touch it up and it'll be okay because we're going to have these lifeboats here and everyone's going to be looking at the lifeboats and the dabbits and the funnels and all the stuff and back down in these corners they're not going to notice much of the detail if something goes horrendously sideways on you um, but we're looking really good so let's go ahead and leave this in position for a while now uh, and let it all set up nicely we'll get our side pieces up here on the front and then we'll come back and uh, we'll get these pieces thrown up into position, and that will allow us to do an episode on the funnels. All right, pressing on. Okay, so since I said I want to get all the stuff ready to go so we could put the funnels and everything on, uh, here, here's our next pieces. This is the area that uh, goes on top of the restaurant and everything like that. It's just kind of a shallow roof. It, it probably is, this is actually probably pretty close to scale. Uh, it's primed up and then I need to install all the fancy little windows and the deck on top and then just glued into place. And then this is the next little kind of utility area uh, where a funnel goes on. And the reason I brought this out, I don't know if you can see, we've got scrape paint marks on mine, uh, like that, it, it fits really tight so yours might fit tight too i don't know uh, on one hand it's nice that like the talents are so close and tight uh, on the other hand do i want to put it together this way do i want to prepare this piece and glue it and then have this one and have to figure out like because it does not want to go in from the top it'll slide in it fits bad I think I, I got to get rid of this little lip around this edge here. So anyway, that's that's really it. And then the rest of this, you know, we'll we'll put this um, photo etch in here. We'll get our doors on uh, a couple of windows. Wow, two windows. And then I think all of this probably just gets painted gray. I don't think we have to put any decking on on this particular piece. So uh, yeah, I want to. That's all I really want to do. And, and then we'll glue this into position on the ship. Worry about the detail later, but this allows me to put the uh, funnel on. So we'll just continue moving back. But I wanted to point out this particular issue that I have here, and then I'm gonna start uh, figuring this out. Oh, and currently this is all just primed. This is the wrong white. It's a white primer. I have to get our XF2 Tamiya white on this thing here. So I'm gonna clean this edge up, paint it, pressing on. Okay, so while paint is uh, drying, we're continuing to move on and get our photo etch on the next parts that we can and get them primed up and painted white. Uh, this is the cover that goes, I, I don't know the exact name, but it, it basically goes over an engineering space um, inside the ship. This is a huge big open area and there's a lot of heat that rises up. And so on the instructions, you end up with this big cool photo etch uh, top, which is very nice, but then there are louvered doors that go up above it. So I just wanted to share that I think what I'm gonna do is I'm putting this piece on first and I'll get it painted up, we get primed. Uh, I'll get this whole structure white because this decking here is all gray. And then you have uh, these pieces right here, which are the doors, right, that go in above it. and these have nice little porthole covers. I'm pretty sure there's glass in there. So what I'll end up doing is painting these white and then I'll flip it over and I'll drop a piece of uh, 
like a clear, the clear, uh, my window material that I use in there. You could use plastic or transparency. That's the word I'm looking for. I'll sandwich the halves together. I'll bend it. Um, and then I'll, they'll be painted white with the portholes, glass in between. And then I'll come back and uh, mount each one of them on top of here after this is white. And I think that will allow me to get paint in all the right places and the glass in um, without causing too much trouble. So anyway, this piece is, is set to be primed up. Again, I need to get some more primer on uh, all these photo etch parts and then uh, we'll be set to go. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that. All right, pressing on. All right, so uh, it helps to mix things up. This is the area that's kind of like the skylight ceiling area above the um, dining room. I've started placing some of the glass in position and uh, that, that was great fun, but I'm, yeah, I get wore out doing the same thing over and over again. So we do have the decking here. We'll throw it on and then we'll go back to the glass because it doesn't really affect anything. This piece I've pre-fitted a whole bunch of times. It fits extraordinarily well. We'll see how it does with glue. And for those of you who have missed Nora's video on how to install wooden decks, um, I suggest you go check it out. I think it's like video five in this series. But definitely with any wooden deck, start in the middle, press it down, and then start pressing your way out. I have a little bit of uh, damage right here. We're going to sort that out in a few minutes. And I actually don't even think it matters. I think um, a big plate gets put over the top of it anyway. So we'll just work this all down and end up with a really nice deck piece installed. So this thing, I, I pre-sealed it. I've discovered, um, I think I mentioned it in Nora's video, that sealing this wood ahead of time before you glue it down is the way to go. Uh, it just gives you a lot more options. Okay. There we go. So that fits nicely, looks fantastic. And then uh, we're going to end up, we got to put a bunch of these plates on here for the equipment and we'll get that into position. So uh, next thing is let's just wrap up the windows right here. Um, these are the ones that come with KA. They have uh, frames that I got to throw on on top of them. Uh, again, this is my client's build. It's not lit, so you're not going to really see them that much, but they're there and, and they're nice. So anyway, uh, just so I thought I'd show that pressing on. Okay, so now the, the deck and our little window frames and everything is on, uh, there are plates that get installed on top here uh, in an effort to, uh, I guess, well, what they do is they're the mounting points for the equipment that you have on top. And so I pre-painted all of this stuff in an effort to maximize getting things done. I'll still have to clean up the edges a little bit. I'm probably going to have to put a little bit of touch-up paint on the piece. But for example, uh, this one drops in right here. I just have to mine the edges so that I don't run into any problems. as you can see right here with, with how um, the piece is going to fit. So we'll put a couple drops of CA glue down. Uh, the CA glue sticks to the wooden decks extremely well. We'll just push it down like so, and that's it, you're set. There's the piece. And so the equipment that goes on top right there, 
um, will sit in these spots exactly. So that's a real nice little feature here. Essentially the exact same way. So in case anybody's wondering, um, this was all, each of the photo etch pieces were primed with, well, they're cleaned off and then hit with a photo etch primer, metal primer, and then uh, a couple of coats of enamel paint to get our color that we have here. And the color that we're using is Light Ghost Gray FS36375. I have several bottles of this, enough to finish uh, all the Titanics I've got going right now. So that looks good. Okay. Now we'll go in just like so. Looks nice. So let me press on here. Let's go ahead and I'm sure someone's going to want to see this. So here's my, here's my little piece that doesn't fit way that we want so we're just going to use a very sharp blade and we'll remove we will remove exactly it I actually could cut deeper this way because uh, all of this gets covered Just like that, our piece is removed. And now we'll take uh, just a, we'll just take this edge and matches, the color matches. Try and find a matching piece, like right there. And we'll cut it out and drop it in. Too long, which is fine. We'll put it in like that, and then verify my edge. Sorry, I realized my finger's in the way. I need to get a good angle for cutting this off. There we go. So it's gonna drop in just like that. It's not even glued yet. There's my replacement piece though. Like that. <clears throat> Looks like I might even need a little bit more right there. So let me get let me get this all set up and glued in, but you guys get the idea. Okay, there's my little repair job. I got one, two, three little pieces of wood installed. Uh, we'll take some CA glue now. Doesn't require a lot. And drop it into position like so. There you go. Looks nice. So uh, let me go ahead and finish up uh, getting the rest of these on. We'll be right back. All right, it's finally happened. I've been plowing along for the last several days here, trying desperately to get each of these little sections just to the point where they can be installed on the ship. Uh, I don't actually need to put this part on yet, but it was it needs to be painted just like everything else. So in, in an effort to save time, uh, I got this basic stuff done. So now we can go up here. Okay, so... Uh, this is all prepared to be installed and it drops in like so and it's not too big of a deal it sits down uh, nicely I'm, I'm happy with how this works but while we're here let's see if I can zoom in so this piece goes in right here and I noticed this right away look at the height of the windows the window frames right here. Uh, you definitely want to s slide this in and drop it down on its spot because if you're not careful, you'll bump the window frame up on this deck and they'll pop off. And when I was test fitting it earlier, that definitely happened. Now I'm seeing I got a little bit of a gap up here. Let me show you that right there that gap see right there and we're already bumped up flush right here I'm not quite locked in on the back yet so 
I need to make sure that that's going to work out all right. Uh, this piece, I think I'm going the right way here. Yeah, sits on there like that. That's no problem. This piece, I don't need to do anything with it right now. I'll get that out of the way. But we need this, this, and then our funnel there, and then our forward one's already in. That will take care of being able to get this thing installed. So give me a minute here. I need to work out uh, what's going on with the fit of this piece before we glue everything together. Okay, we are back, and uh, it's not in. It's dry fitted. But I got it. I got it to work. Whoop! There we go. It comes loose. So, first of all, uh, I needed to remove all the extra wood from Scale Deck deck. Uh, I did that up here on the gymnasium and um, officers' court and stuff. <clears throat> Even though technically it's just going to sit on top of the wood and nothing goes above it, and it should be fine. In keeping with the way this kit was built or designed, it's meant to sit. You know, this plastic piece is meant to sit on the plastic deck, not on top of the wood. And I don't want to introduce some variable I was unaware of later. So all of the, uh, you know, little areas have been cut out. All right, so here on the back, I ended up having all this area that's gray, I ended up having to shave just the tiniest bit off uh, and remove material there uh, to allow this piece to come forward because there's nothing else to really, nothing else has really been done here. I can't remove this wall on these two sides. They sit flush, uh, but they need to come all the way up. And then you can see we sit where we want. Uh, the other issue was getting over this little lip right here. So I don't know if you could see it very well here, but on this edge, I thinned it out a little bit. There's a little bit of a, I just shaved some of it off with the knife. And then the same thing on uh, this piece, I filed the edges of this photo etch. There was just the slightest, tiniest overlap. And then I thinned this leading edge. So now uh, when we come in here, it clicks down and sits where it was supposed to. And, it, and it's locked in before it would go all over the place. Okay, uh, now then installing this piece gets tricky because it needs to come forward and I don't want to knock my windows off, but there's a, this, this edge is higher uh, than on the other pieces. And so we're going to put this on first and then we'll, we'll come slide on in so that my windows are just below the edge. I hope I don't knock them off. And the whole thing will clip on down in a position. Yeah, I'm in. Like that. And I'll have to hold it and get it glued. That's uh, that's the idea. I thought, you know, I thought all this was just going to be real simple and boring and it's not. So let me get back to you here. Let's start gluing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with my orange glue again. And what I'm going to do is kind of glop it up onto the top surface here. And then I'm going to use a toothpick to push it into the edge. You can go right on the corner, right at the 45 degree point if you want. I want to avoid having it squish out onto the deck. If it squishes into the inside here, like no, nobody cares, it's fine. But if it squishes out on the deck, it kind of causes a problem. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, regular glue is installed. I'm gonna put just a couple of dots of CA glue in a couple areas here. I just, I just wanna help kinda hold this thing in until the heavy duty glue kicks into gear here, right? Okay, so here's our piece. I'm gonna come forward clip it at the front, push down, and then push down back. All right. Um, now I've got these weights that you've all seen before. They're, they, they, they probably weigh a half pound each, if I had to guess. They're really heavy. They're one, two, three blocks. One inch wide, two inches tall, three inches long. These are not super high precision. 
Uh, these are, um, I think, relatively affordable ones, but they're really great for setting up standard measurements and having a consistent thing. And they're also great for weighing stuff down. All right, let's just give this a couple minutes, then we're going to come back. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this section. Um, I do also, th there are waterways right here that are in photo etch. I haven't installed those yet. Uh, I want to work that situation out later after all of our parts have been installed. So now for this piece, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a little bit more tricky because it's, it's kind of locking itself in up in the front here. We'll just put a couple of globs of glue right here to take care of that. Um, and then we'll get some in the back and we'll get our weight on it again just to hold it down. This is the thing, like I've, I had a problem on a previous um, big ship, I think it was the Missouri. I had glued the piece on and I thought I was like, oh, we're good, there's plenty of glue, no problem. And then I, I wasn't using this glue, uh, I was just using your regular Tamiya. And I moved it, uh, just for whatever work later on and a giant piece popped off because I didn't have enough secured glue actually in place. Okay, so that slid forward. We're not clipped down over here though. So what are we doing here? I'm having trouble. I think you can see it here. Right along here, right? It's not it's not dropping down the way that we need it to. So if we move to the front, you can see we've got our height and everything right here. It just doesn't want to go down and stay. This is all very tight. And it kind of had clipped in uh, when I previously set this up and I dry fitted it, it basically snapped into position for me. That's going to be good. That's going to work. That's what we're going with right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some weight up here and actually that little piece that I just bumped off, would, this wouldn't allowed me, would not have allowed me to do that. Okay. So Oh boy, we're going to go ahead and let that dry up and uh, fit into position and it should be good to go. I mean, nothing goes on top of this except a funnel and that doesn't touch anything else. So if we're off a, a mill or a half a mill somewhere, it's not the end of the world. It'll, it'll be okay. But as you can see, uh, this is a little bit more of a struggle than I thought it was going to be, right? Okay, let's let that set up and we'll get the next one. We're, we're leaving this section. Well, hang on. Move over so you can see what I'm talking about here and then um, get our uh, fancy couch in the background there. This piece, we, I don't need to install it right now. I mean, I can. I can drop it right in and it glues in just fine and maybe we will, will but the, I got to do all the detail work here. All this stuff, it has to go in for the funnels because um, a bunch of things connect, but uh, my c client wants the vents opened, no problem. Uh, we've got to get the railing, the windows, and a bunch of stuff has to happen. And then we've got our grand staircase right here, the dome and all that goes in. I think I want to get this installed first, uh, then clip this in because they go right next to each other. But uh, we've got to glue this guy on. And this actually is no big deal. We could do this right now. This has to get dried on, glued on, so we can get our funnel up. Um, I can install these pieces with the funnels here. There's plenty of room to work and get my hands in. Uh, but this has got to go in, so let's do that. And this fits a lot better now. I had problems when I was dry fitting this. Um, it was sliding all over on top of the wooden deck because there's just not a big lip. So the solution is you could put a larger lip on or I just centered it, eyeballed underneath and marked where I needed to remove the deck and cut it out 
so it fits well. So there we go, that's in position nicely. Looks good, it's sticking down, I'm happy with it. Uh, we need to let this piece dry. And holy cow, that's it. Um, for fun, we'll, I could stick this up here. And then we've got this guy that obviously I'm not done with. He goes like this, and I think that goes like that. This is a staircase here. Uh, Neil Woods from Woody's Model Works has a really cool photo etch set that goes all up inside that you can see in through these big windows. And we'll get some lighting and through that, through that window, sorry, all inside here. It's photo etch. It folds up. It slides right up in there for the whole staircase and then drops right in. And it's neat. And you put a couple of lights in there and you'll see that. We're, we're going to be featuring that on my build. Uh, we're not doing that on my client's build. So, okay. Let's take a look here. Okay, so here we are uh, with the main boat deck structures all installed. And this will now allow us to do the funnels and get them installed, which is what's going to be the next episode. Uh, again, you know, these two pieces right here, we're, we're, I'm going to take them out. They're not. They're not done. There's a couple other things that need to be worked in, but we don't have to worry about that for right now. We can go ahead and get the funnels installed, and uh, it's going to look nice. So this is it. Titanic is starting to take shape, and I think this is what she looked like when she was launched, maybe. Uh, I don't know if I'm correct. I can't remember if the funnels were on top or not. Let's move over get a slightly different view of things here. Apologize for the bumps. There's my ship in the background that has a long ways to go. But uh, yeah, there we go. Boat deck's starting to look good. Now, I, I, again, like I said, I th it would be nice to have all this stuff sitting on the ground and then I just pick it up and glue it on. But you saw all the trouble that I had uh, gluing everything into position. And so having it up here having it correct, having this all be solid, uh, will actually make it easier for me to come up here and go, okay, this part goes here, this part goes here, I'll glue this here, I'll double check that, we'll get all these little pieces in. It's, it's, it's easier, even though I now have to deal with the whole breadth of the ship, uh, again, for, for working out. But you get used to it, you turn it around and you, you know, figure out what works with your bench. And also, you know, I'm extremely fortunate in that uh, I can get on both sides of my bench easily enough and I don't have to struggle with a wall here. I know a lot of you have a desk that you just have to turn around. But anyway, so that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we are pressing on here to try and get this ship wrapped up. In the next episode, the goal is and to have the funnels. We're going to do an episode devoted to the funnels. It should be awesome. I don't know when I'm going to get it out, hopefully sooner rather than later. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time.